Good morning, guys. It is early. Good morning. It's very early. It's 7 a.m. So busy. We've been into a really good routine. Yeah, this place is alive already. What the hell? We need to get over there. Okay, we, get, we got into a really, really good routine in Camagon of getting up super early. Thank you. And getting up at like 6 a.m. So we wanted to keep that up, get up nice and early. We're heading down in Tag Villa and City. We're heading down to find the gym. We've seen one on Google. There's one right near our hotel. I think it's like 100 pesos for a day pass. Morning, fine, thanks. Uh, so we're heading there now. See if we can get a quick morning workout in, get the vlog edited, get some breakfast and have a nice day of exploring Behold. We never saw this place before, but it looks like a really, I don't know if it's new, the Light Port Centre. Apparently there's restaurants here as well. Let's find it. Let's ask someone. Ripped City, yes. There's me and Lucy. We're in, 150 for day pass. Incredibly good workout. Oh, so sweaty. It's so very hot. hot in there. Really hot. That's a really Even good gym. Right here. Yeah, really good. Ripped City Gym. Tag Villa and City. Day. So such good value actually. Loads of machines, loads Woo. of weights. Okay. Uh, it's better than a lot of the ones I've been to recently. Though, Agreed. Like hotel gym. Need breakfast. Yes. Desperately. Great workout. Breakfast sorted. Come to Tampa quickly for a quick coffee. Really like the guys in there, really friendly. Now we are all headed, the four of us. We're with Lois and James again. They have come to Behold. We were like, guys, where are you heading next? We're going to Behold. Do you fancy joining us? And we're gonna kind of show them around a little bit today. We're gonna go to one of our places uh, in Behold, which is called Panglao Island, which I think is like a 45 minute drive from here um, over the bridge. We were gonna stay in Panglao Island, but we said we actually really enjoy the drive there um, and we don't wanna not be able to do that. So we thought we'd stay in Tagbilla and City and then we can drive over the bridge. Beautiful day today, nice and sunny. Uh, check out some beaches with them, show them around a little bit, show them some restaurants that we like going to as well. We've got one that we want to take them to for sunset as well, which should be really fun. Uh, but yeah, it's all going well. And then for dinner, we're I was going, saying, yeah. did you say? I didn't say where, I just said a nice spot. Oh, okay, we'll keep it as a surprise. Mm -hmm. All right. James is creaming up. Yeah. Safety first. Very important, that very. is. Very, it's very hot today. Always wear sun cream, guys. Yeah, so be enough, won't it? Yeah, yeah, be fine. Yeah, we've been getting used to the sun over here. Yeah. Love what it. are your first impressions of Bahol? Love it. Beautiful. Yeah, Literally really, really nice. Love it. Is when it different to anywhere it's you really think? It's really easy to learn a bike here. Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. When we got the ferry over here, um, it's like all the like natural landscape and the trees and greenery. Yeah, so cool. So nice. Really nice. Love it. Sure. last here you now have to switch your engine off and walk your bike to the parking which is actually quite nice because then it's not all like scooters driving through but we're just walking over here now super busy here today That's so pretty on the window, I know it? amazing oh, I can't believe it. yeah so nice so we're just saying it feels busy but I can't actually see any other tourists here. There's just people like trying to sell their island shopping tours everywhere. Um, but it looks beautiful here. Like the water looks even bluer. Oh, uh, the water looks even bluer than I remember it. Just here. I think we came sort of around sunset last year. Um, so like where the sun was, it meant you couldn't see how blue the water is, but it's super clear. Uh, I think we're going to all head for some lunch now along here on the beach. Not sure what the guys fancy eating, but get some food and then I think we're gonna check out a couple more beaches today um, before sunset later but it's very nice everyone's very friendly here but it's so hot like it's midday now and it's just like super hot although I can see a massive rain cloud hopefully it's not coming in our direction it's super nice even though the water is closer up and we can't actually walk along the beach I don't know it looks bluer than I remember it looks yeah clearer as well really nice oh that's where we went this is, this is yeah this is where we ate 
Maybe, is there places further on to eat? Maybe, if you I'm want. getting a little bit peckish. I'm starving. Won't lie. Yeah. Gonna grab a little bit of food. We're gonna try this Greek place, which looks pretty cool. And um, we can sit upstairs, have a nice view of the beach. We wanna try some different places than we tried last time. It's always nice when you come back to a place, try a few different things. She ran down there. She it. Oh, it's like we're in Mykonos. Oh, I've never been. Look but at these blue steps. Like, this is like the El Nido Greek we went to on the beach. Oh, yeah. Unreal. guys we just enjoyed a delicious lunch <laughs> and now we're gonna chill at the beach for a little bit it started to spit slightly yeah. with the rain hopefully it will pass by I think the clouds are going that way but it's nice to be back here it does it feel a little really bit nice. different somehow yeah I don't know why I maybe because it is quieter like the, wet, the, the seas are on back now a bit and there's more sand and there's still not many people here like, yeah not... it almost feels cleaner I yeah. don't know if they've been cleaning this up a little bit but I don't know the sands nice and white the water's really clear. You're right, it wasn't like It that seems before. less busy. It's really nice. I don't remember it being a big water. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No problem. Oh, we also met some guys who watched the videos. Oh, that's right. Uh, help me up. Help you up. Uh, oh, my God. Thank you, you too. Nice to meet you. Hope you enjoyed George falling over that I certainly did. Oi. It's time to test out this water. Oh, it's nice temperature. It's so blue. I swear it wasn't this blue before. I feel like it's gotten cleaner, like George said, although there is quite a lot of seaweed. The actual water is super clear. It's really nice. Can I just walk over this or is it rocky? I swam over. Ah, so my breath. Oh, nice. <sighs> Lovely. Oh, it's well shallow. I thought I just swam and stood up and it'd be gone. So nice. Oh, the sun's just come out as well. Perfect. Very nice swim in the sea. Luckily, the clouds have been in and out, so the temperature's actually been pretty spot on, pretty perfect. Oh, look, massive plane coming in. Still get excited when I see planes. Into the new, new-ish airport here on Panglao. We're heading now. This is cool. This We didn't realise this was here, but if you were watching our Chargao vlogs, you might remember the place we went for breakfast called Shaka. Really nice place, really good coffee right on the beach. As we were driving along here, we saw a sign that said Shaka, and I was like, Lucy, look, Shaka. And then it actually is the same company, the same place. So we're going to go and check that out, see if it's similar or see what's going on there. Maybe grab a quick coffee and then head back on the bikes and go for another little cruise. It was so nice in the water just now. Lucy and I were chatting to James and it was, we were just saying that it's so nice that we were all basically saying what we love about the Philippines because they've started to see more and more places now and James was just like, it's absolutely incredible. The, the water, the island, these guys are like us as well. They like exploring all different places. So they spent some time in Cebu, but it's so nice for us to share conversation with other people who are also traveling the Philippines. So it's super cool. Their channel is Lane Vlogging if you want to go and check their channel out as well. But for now, it's back on the bikes, back to the cruising. And here we are, the red jacket. It's got the exact same branding and stuff as the Shaga one. And I've just seen a photo of one of their fruit bowls. So very excited for this. So this is cool. In Shagao, they pretty much only did fruit bowls in Shaka. But here, in behold, they've got a whole menu. They even, do, they even do burgers. If we hadn't, if we'd known about it, we could have come here for lunch. Next time. Um, but the staff have like the same uniform on and stuff. It's very familiar in here. The only difference is it's not on the beach. Yeah. That's pretty much the only difference. But good news, guys. They do a flat white. <laughs> Alright guys, it's now time for my favourite part of the day. We're going to try and catch the sunset at the bee farm, uh, which is, from memory last time, such a nice spot to watch sunset. And there's not many clouds. No, it's hopefully going to be a nice clear one. Philippine sunsets are the best in the world, officially. We need to hop on the bikes now, cruise on over there. I think we're going to make it just in time. So we've come now down this little side road and there's loads of little families and stuff chilling outside. And it's all nice and peaceful here. It's nice and green. Uh, all like farm farmlands and stuff. It's really nice. Now I'm Not. so much higher up than you. This is such a funny bike. I got an armrest though. Look at this. Oh, Check this out. 
But this is one of my fav. This is probably my favourite time of day. Yeah, me too. Just before sunset. So nice. I love seeing all the families out getting barbecues. Everyone's setting up. finished school. Yeah, everyone's just chilling, enjoying each other's company, that sort of thing. So nice. Such a chilled vibe here in Bahol. Yeah. Really, really like it. Um, and it's nice to come slightly out of the touristy beach area. Yeah. And into a bit more, a bit more of a local feel. Yeah, our favourite. We're coming into the bee farm now. We're gonna watch sunset here and get some dinner. When we asked on Instagram for the whole recommendations, this place showed up. So many yeah, of you guys always comes out. recommended this to us. Yeah. And we know it's a great place, so we Ooh. definitely wanted to show Lois and James, bring them here for sunset. Yes. Hopefully the little spot on the rail is free. I'm surprised um, we're here like well in advance. Normally we're like chasing sunset and like miss the best bit because we're like running late or we spent too long at the beach or something. But yeah. today we've got loads of time, it's great. This is so nice. We've come down to a slightly different area than where we were before. Um, right down on the water. I think we're gonna have an even better view of sunset here. This is amazing. We didn't come down this far last time. Um, it's more quiet, it's more peaceful. And we've got this whole like chill out area to ourselves. There's a small bar here. We might get a little, I don't know, fruit shake or something. This is the setup. Do you have a menu? We've done all right here. It's all like quiet as well, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Got one of these each. Watch Chill the sunset. Lovely. That's beautiful. <laughs> so, turns out you don't actually see sunset from the sunset spot that we've promised the guys all day, but you do see a nice pink sky and it is still very beautiful. It's nice calm waters. And we were saying the watercolour looks a bit like the Boracay sunset, but without the like giant sun. So it's just a set really, isn't it? That's your joke, sorry George. That's still my terrible joke. Terrible joke, we're just here to watch the set. <laughs> and we were just saying that we can see Siki Hoar just here. Uh, ooh, another island just there, which I can't remember the name of it. And then this little, I don't know if you can see it, that little bump there is Camagan. So yeah. we've got a really cool view here. Insane. So nice. 